Do you ever dream about food? No? Uh, awkward. Well, about a month ago, I traveled to the magical land of San Francisco, where I ate my way through eight vegan restaurants. Click here to watch that video, including a Mexican place called Gracias Madre. I can't troll my R's. They served butternut squash quesadillas that knocked my rainbow striped toe socks off. And since then, I've just been like... So, after much experimentation, I've managed to come up with my own version of these triangular slices of heaven. And they don't hold a candle to Gracias Madres, of course. But they're freaking excelente, mis amigos. But, I'm only gonna say this once. Do not expect them to taste like cheese. Expect something entirely different and entirely wonderful. First, we've got to put together a garlicky roasted butternut squash filling. So line a large baking dish with tin foil and add one tablespoon of olive oil. Then grab six to eight cloves of garlic and skin them by popping them with a knife. We're not trying to crush the cloves here, just making the skin easy to remove. Add the garlic to the baking dish and then prep one large butternut squash by first removing the ends, cutting it in half, cutting the halves in half, and removing the guts with a spoon. Then cut the quarters into more manageable pieces and peel the skin off with a small knife. And last, dice up the whole thing. Add the squash to the baking dish. Drizzle it with another tablespoon of olive oil and give it a toss. Bake the squash in a 425 degree oven for about 45 minutes. And halfway through the process, toss the squash in the pan again. When the squash is done roasting, add the following seasonings to taste. Then mash it completely. Set the squash aside and break out the food processor to make some cashew cheese. Note my air quotes. Grind the raw cashews until they become powdery. Then add one cup of soy milk, the juice of half a lemon, and one small tomato, which adds a certain indescribable something. Then add half a cup of nutritional yeast, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne, or to taste. Transfer the nacho cheese to a small pot, and warm it up on the stove over very low heat. In the meantime, assemble your quesadillas. Spread a flour tortilla with the butternut squash filling, and lay another tortilla over the top. Spread a little oil in the bottom of a pan and fry the quesadilla over high heat until it's toasty on both sides. To serve this thing, drizzle it with the heated nacho cheese, quarter it with a pizza slicer, Sprinkle it with fresh cilantro, unless you don't like cilantro. And top each slice with tomato salsa. Okay, so I lied. I don't actually have rainbow striped toe socks. I have toe socks, and I have rainbow socks. I wonder if I get them to reproduce.